So as for the tank itself, uh, I kid you not, it absolutely stinks. I think the wild donkey man was telling the truth. There's one thing you should know. Uh, I get caught short a lot at my age. So you may have to empty this tank. Oh, it smells a bit rank. It's not petrol. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, I leave you to it. Good morning, Roller Cola Biker here. I wonder if this will work. Okay, so the fuel tank is in a bad way inside. Um, I think the wild donkey man was true to his word and he had been uh, using it as a toilet. So it's very rusty, very corroded, very strange actually. It smelt like turps. Whether two stroke oil smells like turps after 30 years, I don't know what it stunk. So I've emptied it out. I'm not sure what the capacity is. I know it's more than a gallon because when you put a gallon of fuel in, you put a cap full of oil. So it definitely held more than a gallon. So I've got eight litres of roller cola. And I'm sure most of you know what I'm going to do with that. Wild donkey man. It be working its magic. Look at that. Spurting out the top. Rust. Can't say for sure what the wild donkey man really did in that tank, but my God, the stench. So I've taken it off because I cannot describe to you the stink that is coming off this tank. It's presumably 31 year old two stroke, but it smells like nuclear powered terps or something. Sealing it. It's all leaked out overnight. I can't turn the tap off because it snapped. So I don't think the tank itself is leaking, so that's some hope. Yeah, so I'll be able to see inside the little shelf now. There's quite the surface rust. Uh, I just don't think it's too bad. I could do the old bolts in and shake it around a bit probably. But the problem is the gloop. How to get that gloop out of there? Next attempt to try and get rid of the gunk acetone. Hopefully that'll dissolve the oil. Well, that's the thought. I'm gonna chuck some gravel in as well. Problem now is sludge. Mmm, nail varnish remover. In you go. Great, there's the colour of what came out, that's much better. So I'm now going to wash it out with soap and water, hot soap and water, and then go to the final stage. Soapy water brings the worms up, doesn't it Mr Robin? Yes. Feeling that we have the most glowing 
Okay, tank deputrifying number three. Five percent acid spirit vinegar. It's quite clean. One gallon. It's been that way up for about eight hours. I'll tip it around the other way, give it eight hours the other way. Maybe it'll clean up. Robin, you really like this fuel tank, don't you? Any fuel tank work he turns up, don't know why. Has brought quite a lot of silt out of it. I'm looking inside, it's starting to look a bit more silver. If you can see in there, but in the bottom it looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, so the vinegar seems to have brought quite a lot of this gunk out, whatever it is. Vinegar in the washers. So soak it for another couple of days of vinegar, some more vinegar, clean vinegar, and repeat. I did find a chain brush, so any agitation I can give this the better, I think. You can see it. If you can agitate it. It cleans up. So after several days of vinegar soaking, I don't know if you can see that, but start to see the silver inside the tank. Let it have it. It's not petrol, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> 